Hey, what's up everybody? I am Jason and you watch my channel, Micro Investor. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about my picks for the top nine high growth e-commerce stocks to invest into. Now, if you enjoy this video and you do find a lot of value out of it, please be sure to give this video a like because it does help me out with the YouTube algorithm and it helps spread this video to more people that might find it interesting. So the first one on this list is Amazon, ticker symbol A-M-Z-N. Amazon is one of the main places a lot of people think of when they're shopping online. And you can get just about anything there with free shipping as long as you pay for an Amazon Prime membership. And you can buy expensive electronics like TVs, computers, smartphones, and you can also avoid the mall by doing all your clothes shopping. And after they purchased Whole Foods in 2017, they started delivering groceries and other essential items. And Amazon's a big player when it comes to cloud computing. They have their Amazon Web Services. And they're also big when it comes to online video streaming. They compete with Netflix with their Amazon Prime Video. So over the last year, Amazon stock is up about 75%. And over the last five years, Amazon stock is up nearly 500%. And with a market cap of 1.58 trillion, Amazon is one of the largest companies in the world. Next we have Shopify, ticker symbol S-H-O-P. Shopify works with small and medium sized businesses to sell physical and digital products. They have more than 1 million businesses that use their platform to sell in 175 countries. Shopify has had impressive growth. Being up close to 175% over the last year and over 2,600% over the last five years. Shopify's market cap is currently sitting around $120 billion. Next we have Mercado Libre, ticker symbol M-E-L-I. So like how Alibaba is dominant in Asia and Amazon is dominant in North America, Mercado Libre is dominant in Latin America. And it offers a couple of different things. Um, so it competes with like the biggest giants like eBay and Amazon in ways that it does have the traditional e-commerce style. And it even has the auction style as well as they do offer, offer fulfillment. And they even have their own FinTech side Mercado Pago, which is very similar to PayPal and Venmo, etc. Now, over the last year, Mercado Libre stock is up 83%. And over the last five years, their stock is up 820%. Currently, Mercado Libre's market cap is close to $56 billion. Next, we got Alibaba, ticker symbol B-A-B-A. -A -A. Alibaba is the largest e-commerce company in China that connects the buyer with the sellers. Alibaba is also growing in popularity in the United States, where people are looking for low-cost goods from China to resell at a higher price. Alibaba also has a huge cloud business that dominates in China. Alibaba's market cap is currently sitting at $665 billion. Next is Walmart, ticker symbol WMT. Walmart has around 11,500 stores and clubs in 27 countries and is also one of the largest e-commerce companies. And in the United States, it is second behind Amazon. Walmart has been expanding their e-commerce into groceries with delivery and order pickup where they bring the order out to the car. And Walmart is expanding their service with Walmart Plus, a subscription service to compete with Amazon Prime. Over the past year, Walmart stock is up over 20%. And over the past five years, Walmart stock is up close to 85%. And Walmart has a market cap over $370 billion. Next is JD.com, ticker symbol JD. 
JD is the second largest e-commerce company in China behind Alibaba. JD does business to customer transactions. So they're more similar to like a Walmart's e-commerce business. JD uses high tech ways to get the order delivered to the customer by offering robots, drones, and driverless delivery autonomous trucks. Over the past year, JD stock is up close to 130% over the last year. And over the last five years, the JD stock is up a little bit less. They're up 100%. And JD has a market cap of $81 billion. Next we have Wayfair, ticker symbol W. Wayfair is an American e-commerce company that sells furniture and home goods. They sell 14 million items from more than 11,000 global suppliers. Over the last year, Wayfair stock is up 138%. And over the last five years, Wayfair stock is up more than 700%. Wayfair's market cap is currently sitting at $28 billion. Next we have eBay, ticker symbol E-B-A-Y. eBay is one of the first big e-commerce companies. They went from being an online auction house to being a global powerhouse. eBay also owns the popular event ticket e-commerce company StubHub. Over the last year, eBay stock is up around 35%. And over the last five years, eBay stock is up close to 90%. Currently, eBay has a market cap of $38 billion. And the last one on the list is Chewy, ticker symbol CHWY. Chewy is an e-commerce company that is in the business of selling products for pets, like food, treats, meds, toys, and the majority shareholder of Chewy is PetSmart, go figure. Over the last year, Chewy's stock is up around 60%. And Chewy has only been a public company since June of 2019. But since then, the stock is up around 140%. And Chewy has a market cap of $21 billion. All right, so I'd like to hear everybody's opinions about the nine stocks that I mentioned in this video. Are there any of these stocks that you guys are invested into? And do you see plenty more growth opportunities to come from the stocks that were mentioned? So as always, everybody, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I have new videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you all in the next video coming very soon. Hey, real quick, if you guys need to build a website, check out my affiliate hostm1.com. And you can find me on Instagram at micro underscore investor.